Okay, here we go again. I was in a relationship some years back. And this was not a short term relationship. This was actually, this went on for a couple of years, this relationship. And it came to an end roughly around late 2007, late 2000, or early 2008, somewhere around that time. And I would say that it was a mutual decision for both of us to end the relationship, but just taking a look at the uh, decisions that transpired later on throughout the beginning of 08 clearly may, uh, persuade my decision. Now, I spoke to this girl, to this woman, throughout the beginning of 2008. And then I started noticing that she started becoming a bit more and more distant. Now, at that time, I was under the impression that we, we were trying to salvage whatever relationship we, I, I thought that we had. But there was other things that were going on. This doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this one out. I mean, so eventually we had gotten into an argument and she had come clean and decided to throw this in my face and mention that she was seeing another man. And I said, okay, well... If that's the case, there's not a reason for you to call me. And she said, well, why can't I call you? I said, because you've got somebody else that you're talking to. You don't need to have me in your circle then. Throughout the time of that argument, I wanted to try to salvage it, you know, or at least try to end it in a civil, respectful manner. So when I spoke with her in person, she pretty much found quite a few things that I was saying funny. I guess it was somewhat entertaining to her at the time. And as I asked her what was so funny, she was like, well, what I find funny is that all these years I've been chasing you and now, finally, you're now chasing me. And I told you this was gonna happen. And I told you I was gonna get tired and et cetera, et cetera. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, well, that's funny. But nevertheless, I said, obviously you take what I'm saying as a joke and there's obviously no reason for me to hold on to anything. So let's just make this nice and simple. Since you're dating someone else and you, try, you chose to throw this in my face blatantly and disrespectfully, we might as well just keep it for what it is and decide or just move on, pretty much. So I said, you might as well stop calling me. I said, stop calling me and stop coming around so I can pretty much move on with my life. Before I can even get back home, I got a message from her, a text message saying, oh, I think we should just chill for a little while and leave it in God's hands and see what happens. Then she decided to call me later on in the night. And I really, at that time, I was just not even in tune with what she was saying because I was just to myself, you know what, I need to just go ahead and do, do other things in my life. So I pretty much had stopped calling her. Oh, no, I'm just going to say I stopped calling her altogether. And this happened like around February of 2008. March rolls in, I started seeing somebody else. Meanwhile, she was seeing somebody else. But what would happen is every so often she would call or pop up and try to check in on me to see what I was doing. So when she would call, she would usually ask a group of basic questions. How are you? What are you doing? What are you doing later on today? And do you have a hot date? Basically trying to keep a tab on me. Trying to keep a tab on me, my, while, meanwhile, clearly she was dating somebody else or in a relationship with someone else. She just wasn't being honest enough to admit to it, but can clearly can, can, uh, summed it up as a relationship. Now, I realized that these calls were coming in more and more frequently than what I was accustomed to. And even though I didn't want to bring this to her attention, I knew at some point or another I was going to have no choice but to. As a matter of fact, I remember one morning I was laying in bed with the lady I was dating at the time, and she decides to call me around 6 in the morning. I forgot around what time it was, but it was pretty early when she called. And I thought that was very weird to ask me some mediocre questions. So, this cycle continued on for a few more weeks, and pretty much one day she called when I was getting ready to get off of work and asked me, what, would I, what was I doing later on in that day because she wanted to see me. I said, I'm busy. And she's like, why? Do you have a hot date? And I said, actually, I do. And that's when the shit hit the fan. Now her trying to be who she was tried to maintain her composure and just said, well, and the first thing she asked is, well, what does she look like? I said, don't worry about that. Well, what's her name? I said, that's none of your business. And the next thing she says, well, fine, I'll talk to you later. So now a couple of times she would call on and off and try to 
be huffy and puffy and then hang up the phone. And then when she realized that that was getting her nowhere, she decided to call back and be humble and apologetic and tell me how she really felt. Saying that she was not comfortable with me being in a relationship and I'm doing things a little too fast. And I said, mind you, this is funny how you're telling me all this bullshit. But meanwhile, you're in a relationship with somebody else yourself. But you have the audacity. And this is what I want you people to pay attention to. I want you to listen to the audacity of this female to say what she was saying to me. To tell me that she wanted me to remain single and remain available at her disposability. Meanwhile, she was clear and free to date whoever she wanted. This is a very big problem when it comes on when it comes down to a lot of women or spiteful, vindictive, manipulative, evil women. And this is something that men should not play into or even try to attempt to engage with. Me being me at the time, I pretty much um engage in the bullshit rather than dismissing it. Now the one thing that happened when this did happen, she broke down and started crying in tears over the phone and told me, well, if you give me another chance, I can be the woman that you need me to be. And at the point in time, I said, you know what, I had given you so many chances that it's not even worth it to see where it can go, because I already know where it can go, because I've been down that road with you several other times before. As a matter of fact, I owe it to myself to see what else is out there, whether it's good or bad. I owe it to myself to see what else is available to me. And pretty much, this is where her pride got hurt, because all that little slick, dumb shit she was saying to me back in February, and this little art, this whole thing when I broke it down on her that I was seeing someone else, this happened in April. And the little dumb shit she was saying to me in February, she had to digest and swallow every last one of those words she was saying to me in April when I broke it down on her. And I said, first of all, you said that you warned me that she was going to start seeing somebody else. You said I was chasing you. And just as quickly as you think I'm chasing you, I can easily show you that that was never the case. And that's exactly what I did. And I told her at the end of the day, you can't warn me for something that I'm already p prepared for. Because I'm prepared for the inevitable, unlike individuals who want to remain elusive to what really will go on or just the truth in general. So when it came down to this, I said, first of all, you're talking all this bullshit about what I'm doing. But you're in a relationship. But it's all good and dandy when you're out doing what you want to do. But it's a problem if I go out there and I move on with myself and live my life. So, throughout this course of time, she continuously kept trying to pursue and persist, and I had to keep shutting her down relentlessly. It was through multiple times where she would even hang up the phone because she didn't want to hear the words that she had stuffed down her own throat that she had to swallow. So, there was multiple times she would hang up the phone and still continue to contact me even throughout May. Now, in May of 2008, we had a fallout and stopped speaking for a while. There were some words exchanged over the phone or pretty much a uh, disagreement over the phone that led to some emails being exchanged back and forth over the internet, which was redundant in itself. And honestly, to this day and age, I would have handled it completely different if I were to go back in time, but at the time I was I had a lack of knowledge and of course I was just doing what I knew how to do at the time and was put people in their place. So in July of 2008, we started speaking again. And this is what initiated the contact because I was actually cool with many of her family members and they still have a great level of respect for me to this day. And one of her family members, me and him, spoke every so often throughout that time. And he decided to, because uh, he was actually coming around my area to go shopping for a couple of things. So he wanted me to meet up with him. I forgot what the reason was. I think he needed my signature to sign off on some games he was buying for his Xbox Live system. And decided, hey, you might as well just come back up to the house with me when I head back. And I said, is this going to be a problem? Because I already knew that she was seeing somebody else. And prior to uh, this, to me speaking to her family member, the emails that were exchanged between the two of us, I forgot exactly what was said, but I knew she was constantly boasting about her new relationship, and she has herself such a wonderful man. And things are just great. I said, okay. So now, when I get up there to the house and I ask her family member, I said, is this going to be a problem? And he said, no, and I should have looked deeper into the situation, and honestly, it was something that I shouldn't have done in the first place, but having a lack of knowledge the way I did, I still went along with it, being naive and went behind the ears the way I was at the time. So when I get up to the house, the first thing, the first two people I see is her with her new man. Okay, it was an awkward moment, 
and pretty much just said hello and walked into the house and that was it. Eventually, she felt uncomfortable and wanted me to leave, so her mother had asked me to leave. And I said, you know what, understandable, let me get up and go right now. And it was a, it was one of those moments where you f kind of feel stupid when you walk into that situation. But I guess I had, that was one of the situational scenarios that I had to learn the hard way. So now, 